Hello, welcome to today's Monday Mum Hack with me, Sabrina from Seven Wishes Blog. And today I'm going to be talking to you about my summer holiday jar. What are you going to need to make one of these? Well, you need a jar. This is um, a very old coffee jar that I kept as a vase and I've repurposed it for this. And what else you need is a pen and some pieces of paper or card. So let me explain to you what my summer holiday jar is. Well, for this week's Monday Mum Hack, I wanted to share my little summer holiday sort of secret with you all. And it doesn't really matter how long you spend with your children. I respect that some parents have to work. So um, some children only spend weekends with their parents or, um, you know, they spend summer holidays um, with grandparents or aunts and uncles and other people. It doesn't really matter who they're spending it with. It's about making memories, spending quality time together as a family. And this is my hack for it. So each member of the, a member of the family needs to get some colored card and they need to write down so many things that they want to do. So for example, um, go swimming, have a day at the beach, a craft day, um, loads of things that, you, you know, you'll have your own personal things that you enjoy doing as a family. And what you want to do is they each take maybe four or five pieces of paper and they each write down a different thing and then everyone puts them in the jar. So let me write down on here. Um, go to the park because my son loves to go to the park. OK, so fold that up and that goes in our jar. And then when the summer holidays arrive, each person of the family, you can rotate through, you know, youngest to oldest or whatever. Every day after breakfast, somebody picks one of the papers out of the jar and you have to try and incorporate that into your day. So if it's an absolutely rotten weather day, I highly doubt it, but you never know in this country. Um, you can then fold it back up and put it back in the jar if it's not plausible so say you picked out day of the beach and it's torrential rain and wind you know that's not going to work out so what you want to do is you want to put an array of different things in here so you can put um a craft day or a movie together you know watch a movie with popcorn at home that kind of thing make sure you put in some outdoorsy ones and some indoors ones um and then you're covered for all eventualities and all weathers and like i say some people might spend it with their parents fantastic some might be lucky enough to have grandparents wonderful um you need to be able to put things in there that everybody can do um so don't put skydiving and things like that but you know um put some things in that are easy to do fun to do things you can make memories and hopefully you know uh, everybody will be able to take part if there's a very small baby in the family obviously take that in, into consideration um and just make allowances for that but yeah this is my summer holiday jar hack and i think it's a great way of being a little bit spontaneous but also everybody gets their turn so if you have quite a big family um, you might find that the children get a little bit aggravated maybe if um, one person gets to choose all the time. This way you take it in turns and you can even write the people's names on the calendar and then every morning you can say right it's so and so's turn to pick out of the jar and then like I said if you can't incorporate it fold it back up put it back in and pick another one until there is something that you can do that day and it's a great way of you know, having the decision made for you in a way, because sometimes in the summer holidays, us parents get to, you know, week two, week three, and we think, oh my goodness, we're out of ideas and they're running us ragged. What can we do? Well, this is a great way of saying, right, somebody picks something out of the jar. You know, you might have things already booked up. You might have a holiday um, or, you know, seeing family, that kind of thing you can still incorporate what's in this jar on the other days. You know, it, you don't have to do it every day. You could just say, we're going to do the jar on a weekend. So one child picks on a Saturday, one on the Sunday. Um, and if you obviously have a bigger family, it then rolls over to the following weekend. But whatever works for you, really, however often you do get to spend with your child or children, you can still do a summer holiday jar. And 
I hope that you enjoy doing it because I think it's really fun. So yeah, I hope you like this Monday mum hack today and do let me know what you think. Um, hit that like button if you if you enjoyed the video and comment below if you have any other ideas. I'd love to hear them. I hope you have a wonderful start to your week and I can't believe we're getting to the end of May now already and the sun has been shining the last few days which has kind of made me want to do this Monday mum hack more. I was going to do it um, at the start of July but I thought now that we're sort of getting into the better weather, people might have ideas. So they might want to start writing them down and sticking them in the summer holiday jar. But yeah, I hope you have a fantastic end of May and catch me again next Monday for another Monday Mum Hack. This is Sabrina. Have a great day.